What's going on everybody? Ricky Robinson here with Two Times R Media, back again with another video. In this video, I wanna show you guys how to get this 16 millimeter wider than this 13 millimeter F1.4 from Viltrox. And close in width as the Samyang 12 millimeter. How can we get these two close in width? Is it possible? In this video, I'm gonna show you what you need to make this lens just about as wide as this lens. Before I get into it, check these samples out. As you can see, the 16 millimeter was able to get just about as wide as the 12 millimeter Samyang. Now, a lot of people wanted the 12 millimeter to be their go-to vlogging lens. And unfortunately, with the quirks that I've pointed out in my video, I have a video up here, I'll show you guys my issues with this lens, a couple videos actually. So there's some quirks and issues with this lens. It's not quite perfect. The communication between the lens and the camera bodies is just not fully fleshed out yet. So it's, this needs some work. The Viltrox is a little bit better, but still not 100% perfect, and it does not match up to what first party lenses can accomplish. Unfortunately, of course, because first party lenses are always gonna be your best bet for being able to communicate with the bodies. So if you already have this, and you wanna spend about $50 more to just get a bit more width, here I have the Ulanzi wide angle lens adapter. Now this is not for Fuji film, but it is for it is made for the Sony ZV-1. I did have a Sony ZV-1. I sold it because I wasn't using it very much. I was using both of my Fuji cameras. It's a great camera if you're looking for something that's compact and just that has everything built into it that can focus with no issues. The Sony ZV-1 is a great camera for the cost. The Ulanzi has a 52 millimeter filter thread on the bottom and a 58 on the front. So if you wanted to add filters on the front, ND filters or anything like that, you have the capabilities of adding filters to this still. This is without the adapter and this is what it looks like with. Still pretty small. I mean, it's just with the lens cap on, it's just about the, the height of this. This is a little bit taller. This is a 12 millimeter and this is will, will be this will be an f2.8 but still let me show you what i shot outside just to show you how it looks like vlogging with this and without this let's take a look at that real quick all right so this is a test i'm just vlogging with it and this is what you would be vlogging with you can see how i don't know how you, if you can see on this other camera how close my arm is how much space i have around me so this is if you were to vlog with this lens there you go. Oh, sun is pretty bright. Oh, sorry about that. Still tracking my eye really well. If you hear or see any kids screaming, that's just my three kids playing in the backyard. So this is if you were to vlog. This is how close your arm can be. Pretty comfortable. You can hold it like this close to your body. Still got a little bit of headroom. Of course, this lens is not stabilized, just like the Samyang, just like the Viltrox. It's not a, uh, a stabilized lens, but it does work better with the Fuji system than any other third party can work. Not saying those lenses are bad. I am a fan of the Viltrox 13 millimeter, especially for the, the, uh, the cost and the, the amount of light that it lets in, the f-stop. I'm a big fan of that lens. This is what it looked like if it was fully extended. This is just a basic cheap tripod. So, I mean, this is what it would look like if you had your arm fully extended. Now, this is what it looks like with the 16 millimeter by itself, a lot closer to my face. Still, you got some room, but it's pretty close to my face. On, off. Now that you've seen that, this can be a definite help to your videos 
to your photos. Now, it's probably not the best. Before I get into that, before I get too into it, I want to say thank you to Mark Bennett Camera Crisis YouTube channel. He is the one that gave me the idea. I had this and it was just sitting where with all my gear, with all my little nicks and knacks, all my little small stuff. This was just sitting in there because I don't have the camera anymore. And he made a video about this, adding this to the Sony ZV-E10 kit lens. So he gave me the idea. So shout out to him. If you guys go check out his channel, he makes a lot of Sony content and a lot of just gear content. So he's a great, a very, very interesting character. Very funny. So if you guys want to check him out, go check him out. Tell him I sent you, even though he has no idea who I am. Still, um, maybe, you know, he might get curious and come and look at my channel. But if you guys are getting something out of this video, please don't forget to like. If you want to leave a comment, let me know what you liked about the video, what you didn't like about the video, what I messed up, what I may have forgotten, what I may have left out. Write in the comments down below. I will have a link to this Ulanzi adapter down below in the in the description so if you guys wanted to pick it up you can it's not an affiliate link or anything i'm not getting any kickback or anything from that i'm not there yet but still if you wanted to be able to find it pretty quickly you can so the only issues is with maybe taking pictures with this there is some distortion like he mentioned in his and i've seen it in my videos even on my uh, zv1 there is a little bit of distortion around the edges of course when you attach all of this glass, you know, that wasn't there before and wasn't built like that. You're going to get some kind of uh, some kind of issues with the lens. It's not perfect, but if you're just looking for something to help you get a little bit more headroom, this may be the adapter for you. So right now we're on the Viltrox 13 millimeter F 1.4. And now I'm going to change it to this one. This is the 16 millimeter F 2.8 without the adapter. Again, this is the 16 millimeter without the adapter. And now I'm gonna show you with the adapter. Take a look at how much space around. Take a look at over here in this corner and this corner. And this is with the adapter. So how much more do you see? Are you seeing quite a bit more? Um, you seeing over there, over there. This is how wide it is. So this is the Viltrox 13 millimeter right here. And this is what that looks like before. And now this is what it looks like after, after I added the adapter and the 16 millimeter F2.8. A lot wider, as you guys can see, not bad. But again, for about $40, $50, depending on if you get it on sale, it's a pretty nice addition to your lenses. If you look around the corners, I mean, it's, it's giving you some blurry background, which is nice because it's at F2.8. Both of them that were at F2.8, I didn't change anything. You can see the colors, if the colors are different, if you guys notice anything with the colors, so now let's try the Samyang 12 millimeter to see how much wider that is. Now, this is the Samyang F2 autofocus lens. How much more wider is it? I didn't adjust where my camera is. Everything is still the same. If you want to spend about 450 bucks, 460 bucks, this Viltrox lens is the lens you probably should look into. Viltrox has a lot of great lenses. This Viltrox lens is great. It's pretty heavy. It feels a lot heavier than this. But again, it lets in more light because this is an F1.4. This is F2.8. Now it's a few stops of light difference, but it's still, you can get better low light with this than you can with that. But if you're using it mainly for like vlogging and you want to have the 16 millimeter, you already have the 16 millimeter, this Ulanzi is a great uh, addition. The Viltrox lenses are really, really good. And you have so many options for, from Viltrox, especially if you're doing um, event photography. I know uh, somebody that uses those for event photography and he loves them and his pictures and his videos look great. So this is what it looks like on the camera. I did this outside. So it's not that much bigger. It's pretty small, man. Look at that. It's pretty compact compared to this. I mean, look at the difference. The Viltrox versus this one. I mean, <sighs> And you can definitely feel that weight. This is a metal building. This, these are all metal. This is metal. The lens, the adapter is metal. And of course, the Fuji lens is metal. This can also work on the uh, 35 millimeter. So if you have any lenses that are 52 and below, this adapter works perfectly fine. Again, you'll need different step up rings, but I wouldn't go over 52 millimeters um, on this. You don't want to have vignetting and extra 
artifacts and stuff going on in your videos and your pictures. It also has a micro macro lens that this comes apart. And now you have a macro lens. So you can get really close and get the rest of it blurred out if that's what you, that's the look that you want. If you guys got something out of this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate every single one of you for clicking on the video. My name is Ricky with Two Times R Media.